Yo, what's up guys? John here and today, man, I'm talking about my Miami Heat beating the Milwaukee Bucks and then going up 2-1 in the season series over the Milwaukee Bucks. Wow, what a win. This might be the best game of the season, obviously the biggest win of the season. This probably, I would say, the best game that he have played offensive-wise, defensive-wise, team basketball-wise. Turning defense into offense, turning offense into defense. The team played straight up phenomenal basketball tonight. Protected home court after an awful game three. After an awful game two, I just say, winning a game three by this fashion was absolutely phenomenal. Winning 121 to 99, a 22 point win is just a massive W in my book. Bucks have no Giannis, obviously massive for them. We had no Tyler Hero, and then obviously at the end of the game, we go deeper for us. Ended up leaving the game. It looked like on a stretcher, even though it looked like somebody was carrying him or carrying him through the locker room to the locker room, obviously. So hope he's good. He's he's I believe just gave up. I was going for a layup. His speed today looked phenomenal. Defense today looked pretty fucking good. Went all the way to the rim. Knee gave out. Leg gave out. Fell on the floor. And then he had to be um carried out of the uh court so that was very unfortunate hopefully it's not a major injury because he's dealt with so much injuries man just got back in the rotation the only reason to play right now is because of Tyler Hero was out with that broken hand and another game that we've played where we won but I will cost game one I don't know why my watch just randomly went off but one game one in um Milwaukee Tyler Hero broke his hand on that play with Grayson Allen and then game Three today we won and uh, and Victor Depot ends up having looks like a pretty major injury. Hopefully breaks out a major injury, but it did look pretty bad. It looked like his knee gave out. He's had so many injuries with his leg, with his knees. Just looked pretty good today. And of course, um, he gets injured, so that's just that's disgusting. Uh, hopefully he's good. He played some pretty good basketball today. Uh, played his role really well. Looked pretty explosive, really good offensively, and then obviously gets injured. That's just not what you want to see at all. But the Heat, as a whole, today played some phenomenal basketball today. As a team, he shot 53.6% from the field. Jimmy Butler, playoff Jimmy Butler is a thing. I don't care what he says. He turns into a beast. Again, another injury as well for him. Looked like a little bit of a tailbone injury. Missed the whole entire fourth quarter of the game. We we're up by a considerable amount. So maybe that was just precautionary. He was back in the bench. They said that he will return to the game. He didn't end up returning because the game obviously was a considerable amount of points so he didn't want to risk and re-aggravation i guess but jimmy Butler today 30 points five rebounds four assists two steals and 28 minutes he went 12 for 19 from the field he all for his three-point attempt which is absolutely insane i don't know how the playoffs come around jimmy Butler, jimmy Butler miraculously just finds out how to shoot a two-point shot i don't get it at all uh then he made two of his three free throws Bam the bio eh offensively Need to see more of him. Shot four for 10. He had 12 points, 11 rebounds, five assists. Defense today was phenomenal. Two steals, one block. Um, then today we started Kevin Love. He made two but six three point attempts for six points, seven rebounds, and two assists with one steal and block as well. Kevin Love entered into the starting lineup today. I'm not going to lie. I did like what I saw. I did like what I uh, saw from him today. Um, played pretty well. Rebounded the ball pretty well. Two point shot was falling early, second half of the game. Not really, but. We still like his rebounding and things of that nature. He is like damn near 40 years old. So all these minutes out of Kevin Love. Yeah, we'll take it. Okay. I'm not gonna complain, we'll take it. Okay. In fifth today, played pretty awful after playing pretty well for the first game of the series. One for five from the field, 0 for one from three, two points, two assists, one rebound, three turnovers as well. Then Max Schuess, they had a pretty good game in my opinion. He had 12 points, um, one steal, hit five as a field goals, including two or four for the three point line as well. Udonis has him. The OG got some minutes today, baby. Yes, sir. Did uh, miss all of his attempts. One from the field, one from three. But he had a rebound. Player after three still stacking the rebounds. By the way, if you guys didn't know, Udonis has him. Has the most total rebounds in Miami history. So, yeah, he's a he legend. And his name will be up there on a the, the jersey on the rafters. He is a Heat legend, man. That is for sure. Duncan Robinson is a sniper back. 20 points, three rebounds, two assists. Hit seven of his nine field goal attempts, a scorching in the second quarter. And he made five of his six three point attempts. And he even cooked Drew Holiday, one of the best defenders in basketball, on the dribble, on the way to the layup. 
scoop layup for two points. That was absolutely phenomenal for him. Kayla Martin today played really good basketball today. 12 points, 11 rebounds, two assists, two steals. Kayla Martin is a phenomenal role player for the team as a starter, as an undersized power forward. Not it. As a bench guy, I love what we have in a guy like Kayla Martin. Kyle Lowry, second quarter as well. He had a little stretch of cooking. He had 15 points, three assists, one rebound, and five of ten field goal attempts, and he hit two of his five three-point attempts. So he was absolutely cooking today. He also did hit three of his all three of his free throw attempts, which you absolutely love to see out of Kyle Lowry. Ola Depot prize had injury in 19 minutes. He had eight points, two rebounds, one assist, one steal, and one block. I mean two steals and one block. My bad. Defense looked absolutely phenomenal. Still an incredible on-ball defender. And he had that burst of speed today, which you love to see. Um, until his injury, obviously, hopefully, I, I can't deal with this again, man. Hero broke his hand. He's out for the, uh, for six weeks. He reached the final somehow, some way. Oladipo, man, we need you, man. You were the guy to now take some pressure off of us, not having to tell the hero. And if you're out, man, that absolutely sucks, man. That app least because I love what I saw to him today, man. He's dealt with so much, man. He got injured in Indiana, he got injured in Houston. He's been injured with us twice this tenure with us. Just had a contract extension. I'm pretty sure he's a player option this offseason, and he's injured once again. Like, oh my god, man. Like, he just got back in the rotation and he's out. That sucks. And then on today for the Bucks, the Bucks today did not play Bucks basketball as they had last game. They shot. 44.7% from the field and 38.5% from three, which honestly is not bad at all. But last game, they could not miss from three. Like, it was absolutely insane. Um, Yeah, that was insane, okay? <laughs> that was insane, okay? So Bobby Porter said it was in major foul trouble, but he did have nine points, 10 rebounds, one assist, and two steals. Bilton today had his cook sets, 23 points, five rebounds, six assists, two steals, uh, and he hit Ava's 14 field goal attempts, including three to five and three, and sunk four of his five free throw attempts as well. Brick Lopez honestly did not have that good of a game as well. Still a major threat defensively because he's such a good shot blocker. Jimmy Butler was trying to make, trying to kind of maneuver his way around the rim, try to like get past him because he's such a fucking pest in the paint, man. The guy is a phenomenal shot blocker, but he had six points, two assists, three rebounds. Uh, Steal on the block as well. Joe Holiday, amazing in the first half, second half. They didn't really do too much on the other side of the basketball. He finished with 19 points, five rebounds, three assists, and a block as well, and five turnovers. The Bucks today as a team had 18 turnovers. The defense today for Miami Heat was absolutely phenomenal. Grayson Allen, absolute pest. Hate playing against because he just doesn't miss from three. Five attempts from the field today, four or seven from three. Added on 14 points, two assists, and four rebounds. The man does not miss from three. He is an absolute sniper. From his Duke days to his Grizzlies games to his now his Bucks days, the man does not miss from three. Love or hate Grayson Allen. The man does not miss from three. And he is an elite sniper in this league. And I fucking despise playing him. Jay Crowder today, Heat Legend. Even though he did injure me ball last game, I have to stay tag away from you, buddy. Five points, one assist, one steal, one block. At least he scored. Um, he's pretty sure this game is always like one point a game the series. So at least he finally got in the column. Uh, second half of the game, he finally uh, turned up. Um, did a bench today, Pat Connaughton. I don't know why he got a DMP in game one. Game two, Torsos hit six threes. Game three today, hooked once again. 11 points, seven rebounds, three assists, one steal. Hit four over seven attempts, including three or six from three. He was cooking. Joe Wingles, the uh, got to cook this last game. Joe Wingles, man, that man, absolutely insane. I was still looking at his age right now. Two or seven from three. I mean, two or seven to field. One for six, one for six from three. Five re. I mean, five points, one assist, three turnovers, man. Um, absolutely phenomenal game for, for my Miami Heat today. We're up to one. I thought Giannis would be back last game. He's not back. He, he wasn't back last game. He wasn't back today, which I was shocked by. Next game, I think he will be back, though. I Depending on how bad the injury is, I want to see what comes of that. Comes to uh, Jimmy Butler, hopefully the injury isn't too severe. Because deeper. really want to see what his injury is and how long he will be out. Because it looked bad, man. I don't want to jump into a conclusion, but it looked pretty fucking bad. But we're up 2-1 in the series. Um, not going to lie. Coming into the series, I was like, yeah, the Heat might get one game. 
two games, no. I thought this game would be over in a gentleman's sweep. I'm going to be honest, as a Heat fan, obviously, they were not having Giannis Hurts, but still no hero for us. Um, let's play some good basketball, man. Game two, though. Let's not talk about game two. That I couldn't even watch the second half of that game. I didn't, I didn't even upload a video on that game. Like, I was just out. I'm like, yeah, y'all got it. Y'all got it. Okay, but Heat win today. Phenomenal win. Hopefully, uh, Jimmy Butler is fine. Velo Depot, hopefully, it's not as major as it looks because oh, I need Victor Oladipo in the playoffs. We need that, man. We need it, okay? But other than that, y'all, that is the video. So go down below, drop a like, comment down below, sub up. Make sure to follow me on Twitch, Twitter, and today's it's been your boy John. Hope you guys did the video, and I'm out, man. Peace.